Hey all, let's say about correlation versus causation. Correlation means there is a statistical association between the variables, whereas causation means that a change in one variable causes a change in another variable. In research, you might have come across the phrase correlation doesn't imply causation. The correlation and causation are two related ideas, but understanding their difference will help you critically evaluate and interrupt scientific research. Let's see how. So firstly, let's see about correlation and causation in detail. Correlation describes an association between variables. When two variable changes, so does the other. A correlation is a statistical indicator of the relation between the variables. These variables change together. They can vary. But this covariation isn't necessary due to a direct or indirect casual link. Causation means that the change in one variable brings about change in another. There is a cause and effect relationship between the variables. The two variables are correlated with each other. There is also a causal link between them. We all know that a correlation doesn't imply causation, but causation always implies correlation. There are two reasons why correlation isn't causation. These problems are important to identify for drawing scientific conclusions from research. The first one is third variable problem. This means that there is a confounding variable affects both variable to make them seem casually related when they are not. Let's take an example. Ice cream sales and violent crime rates are closely correlated but they are not casually linked with each other. Instead, hot temperature is the third variable that actually affects both variables separately. The second reason is directionality problem. It is when two variables correlate and might actually have a casual relationship but it's impossible to conclude whether which variable causes changes in other. For example, vitamin D levels are correlated with depression but it's not clear when whether low vitamin D causes depression or whether depression causes reduced vitamin D intake. These two problems are the main reason why correlation isn't causation. Let's see another example. Bob collected data on the sales of ice cream cones and the air conditioners in his hometown. He found that when ice cream sales are low, air conditioner sales tends to be low and that when ice cream sales or sales were high, air conditioner sales tends to be high. So now Bob can conclude that sales of ice cream cones and air conditioners are positively correlated. And Bob can't conclude that selling more ice cream cones causes more air conditioners to be sold. It is likely that the increase in the sales of both ice cream and air conditioners causes by the third factor an increase in temperature. This is the reason why correlation doesn't mean causation. So that's it about the concept. Subscribe to my channel which is actually free of cost or at least hit the like button so that it gets recommended to others. Thank you.